And a dozen of those deaths happened at the Life Care Center in Kirkland, considered the ground zero of the outbreak in our state. King 5 Sebastian Robertson is at the facility where federal medical professionals are set to arrive any minute. A spokesperson for the facility says they're still in triage mode, trying to care for the patients that they have without making this situation any worse. Today, we got to look at new numbers that really show the scope of the situation. We don't know why this patient was loaded into an ambulance outside Life Care Center in Kirkland Saturday morning. We do know that the patients and the medical staff are at the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in the U.S. Everything we've learned so far is that we know very little about how fast this may act. Over the weekend, the care facility releasing its own numbers, documenting the toll that the virus has taken on them. Since February 19, 13 patients have tested positive for and died of the coronavirus. No one in the staff has died, but of the 180 employees, 70 aren't working and are showing symptoms. I really think this is something that's falling through the cracks. Sherry Chandler fears the impact is even greater especially when you consider the number of visitors that come to a facility like this on any given day. Visitors like her elderly parents. No, nobody has even reached out to my parents. There are many visitors to the center that have not been contacted. This is a, something that's falling through the cracks. The true toll may take some time to come by, especially when you consider that this facility, by its own count, has only received 45 test kits and just received them Thursday. We need more test kits. We still don't have enough test kits for all the residents who are here. We've been told that more will be coming. Saturday, Life Care Center did get some relief. A number of doctors and nurse practitioners arrived to treat the 63 patients that remain. A fight against a virus that is far from over. The facility believes that there are still six patients inside that are showing symptoms of the coronavirus. Those patients are being closely monitored and should their symptoms turn acute, well, then they'll be moved to an area hospital. In Kirkland, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, an hour away from President Trump, who spent the morning at his golf club after his visit to the CDC in Atlanta yesterday, where he asked Americans to remain calm and insisted that there were enough tests for the virus. Anybody that needs a test gets a test. But at a White House briefing today, Secretary Alex Azar forced to clarify the president's remarks, calling it shorthand, adding that what he meant to say is that you need a doctor's order for a test. As he confronts the biggest health crisis of his presidency, Trump ousting his chief of staff, 